This is a special time at the Cunningham Sheep Ranch in Eastern Oregon. The Rambouillet sheep have moved out of their mountain pastures, had their wool removed, and now it's time for their babies to be born. During February, 4,000 lambs arrive. Each year, the ranch produces 32,000 pounds of wool for the Pendleton Woolen Mills. Since the early 1900s, the Pendleton Mills have had a long tradition of making Indian blankets. The mill was opened in 1909, uh, purchased by the Bishop family. Its primary product at that time was uh, Indian trade blankets. We scoured the wool here, they carded and manufactured the wool, and we actually produced the trade blankets right here. And the main consumer was the Umatilla Indian Reservation. Pendleton went to great lengths at that time to develop, with the tribe, develop blankets that met their needs, met their designs, and that allowed for a very unique relationship to develop between the mill and the local tribes. Blanket design has always been an important part of the blanket success. Today, the process remains the same, but has evolved. The looms are computer driven now, but the designs are still the same. We still get them from the same places. We find them in the artwork of the tribes that we go out, whether it be in the southwest, the northeast, the lakes, the northwest, or we have the actual artwork come to us from the different tribal artists. And we take your artwork and we interpret it into an Indian blanket. In the early years, blankets were only made in Pendleton. Today, the work takes place in two locations. The manufacturing process starts in Washougal, Washington. We receive the wool in, we examine the wool for quality and compare it to our standards. The wool is then weighed up according to a predetermined formula and is then mixed in our blending line. We then dye the wool in our uh, stock dyeing kettles in a cake form. Then it is removed from there, dried, re-weighed, and is sent to Pendleton. If we receive our dyed stock in from our Washougal plant, we receive approximately about 15,000 pounds a week that come into this facility. Then we'll cart it and spin it. We run about 65 pounds an hour on the carting machines. The whole idea of the card is to comb out the wool. And the card is a series of rollers which starts out with a coarser wire to where you gently comb it out. And as it goes through the card, so it's combing the wool out, it's also blending the different fiber lengths, and it's kind of averaging the mix of wool out. So by the time it gets to the condenser, where it divides up the webbing into 96 different ends, we know that we have a pretty even fiber content between end to end. And once it's at the condenser, it'll gently roll the webbing into what's called a roving. It gives it a little bit of strength in order so we can wind it onto a spool. Then from the spool, it's taken to the spinning department where it'll gently draft out the yarn, and as it drafts, it'll insert a twist. The wool that we run here at our plant, the bulk of it we use for the Indian blankets. And that type of wool, we put in seven turns of twists. And what we mean by that is every inch of yarn has seven full revolutions, turns. The yarn on spinning bobbins is then steamed to set the twist and sent to the winding machines. Here, the yarn is checked for size. If a section needs to be taken out, this machine removes it and splices it back together before it is put on the winding cones ready for weaving. Today, weaving looms are controlled by computers. These lines coming down from the ceiling are connected to controllers. Those controllers tell the loom which string to pick up as the colored yarn is sent back and forth through the loom. At the Pendleton Mill, there are 23 looms which produce 100,000 blankets a year. Last year, 80,000 of those blankets were of tribal design. When we receive the uh, blanket material down at Washougal, it is prepared for uh, milling and set up into sets. The milling process is a felting process. The uh, pieces are felted to a given predetermined dimension. It is then scoured in the same machine. Then once the scouring has completed, it's extracted and then sent to uh, a napping or sometimes known as a raising machine where the pile is drawn up from the base of the fabric 
and it develops a softness. Our blankets come into the blanket department as continuous yardage and we take them over our cutting perch. The operators uh, do a brief inspection, separate the blankets, they hook them on their overhead rails, apply the Pendleton label, the necessary bindings, and then they come around and are uh, inspected again, boxed, and shipped. We've got a very special uh, relationship with our Native American customers, and we've been involved in uh, different cultural events um, and organizations like the Smithsonian and the Native American Indian College Fund. And we've partnered with them and created some beautiful blankets and um, done very well and been able to contribute back to those organizations. Pendleton blankets have become part of our cultural tradition. When you cover someone with a blanket, you cover them with love. For Northwest Indian News, I'm Kate Reardon reporting.